How to use misoprostol for an abortion with pills in the first 11 weeks of pregnancy. Every day, people all around the world have safe abortions using misoprostol. When the instructions are followed properly, up to 95% of people will have a successful abortion. But remember, this information is only useful for an abortion with pills from care of feminine pregnancies that are up to 11 weeks, counted from the first day of your last period. Before starting, here are a few tips. Try to schedule your abortion in the morning and when you do not have any other activities or commitments because it can take up to nine hours. Some people may feel fine by the next day. Others may want an extra day to rest. Take care of yourself. Here are a few things you can do to help make the process go as smoothly as possible. Eat lightly and avoid spicy or greasy foods. Drink water or sports drinks to stay hydrated. And if you have an upset stomach, drink ginger ale or herbal tea to help with nausea. Get a heating pad or plan to have a hot shower to soothe any cramping. Have your pain medication nearby, such as ibuprofen and acetaminophen, Tylenol. Purchase some maxi pads described as heavy flow or overnight absorbency. Plan to watch some of your favorite TV, movies, or listen to relaxing music. Basically, do everything you do to make yourself comfortable as if you were on your period or home on a sick day. Abortion pills and dosage. You will receive 16 misoprostol pills of 200 micrograms each, which is four doses. Misoprostol causes the uterus to contract and push its contents outside the body. This is the bleeding and cramping associated with an abortion with pills. The process. Step one, eat lightly and take your anti-nausea medication if you want to use it. You may want to have an anti-diarrheal medication like Imodium to take in case of diarrhea. Then take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen and 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen, extra strength Tylenol to help with cramping, and wait 30 minutes. Step two, take your first dose of four misoprostol pills. How to use misoprostol. You have a choice on how to take the first dose. You can either take it vaginally or under your tongue. Here are a few tips to help you decide. If you are feeling sick to your stomach, you may prefer the vaginal method. But if you are in a state where abortion is restricted, we suggest using the misoprostol under your tongue. If you seek medical care within a few days of the abortion, a doctor would not be able to tell if you took the misoprostol under your tongue, but may be able to detect the medication during a pelvic exam up to four days later if you use it vaginally. Otherwise, the choice of how to use the medication is a personal preference. Both are effective. Misoprostol vaginal use. You may want to start by emptying your bladder, pee, before using these pills, since they will need to be in your vagina for 30 minutes. Some people prefer to lie down when inserting the pills, while others may prefer squatting. And do not insert the tablets into your vagina over the toilet bowl. Wash your hands and then gently push one pill at a time into your vagina until you have inserted all four tablets. You just need to push them in as far as you comfortably can with your fingertips. There is no wrong place. Lie back and wait for 30 minutes to pass. You will absorb the active ingredient from the pills directly into your bloodstream through the inside of your vagina. After 30 minutes, you may stand and move normally. As long as the misoprostol was inserted for at least 30 minutes, do not be concerned if the tablets come out on a pad or into the toilet. Even if they look whole, they do not need to dissolve fully to work. Remember, if you seek medical care in a restricted state, pieces of a misoprostol tablet may be identifiable in your vagina. This is why some people prefer to use the pills under their tongue. Cramping and bleeding may start in as little as 30 minutes, or it may take several hours. Bleeding may not start until you've taken multiple doses of misoprostol. 
you'll know the abortion has begun once you see the bleeding start. It's best to be prepared in a place where you have access to a private bathroom, if possible, once you have used misoprostol. Misoprostol use under your tongue. Swallow a sip of water so your mouth is moist. Place four misoprostol pills under your tongue and let them sit there for 30 minutes. You may swallow your saliva, but please keep the pills under your tongue for a minimum of 30 minutes for the best effectiveness. After 30 minutes, swallow what is left of the pills in your mouth with some water. It does not matter if the pills have dissolved or not, they work either way. Some people will notice a sore tongue, mouth, or throat after holding misoprostol under their tongue. This is normal and should go away in a couple of hours. If you experience vomiting during the 30 minutes that you held the four misoprostol pills under your tongue, please call us. Bleeding and cramping can start within as little as 30 minutes, but commonly within the next several hours. Bleeding may not start until you've taken multiple doses of misoprostol. You'll know the abortion has begun once you see the bleeding start. It's best to be prepared in a place where you have access to a private bathroom, if possible, once you have used misoprostol. Step three. Three hours after taking the first dose, take the second dose of four additional misoprostol pills. If you are not bleeding, you can take the second dose vaginally or under your tongue. If you are bleeding, you must take the second dose under your tongue. Step four, three hours after taking the second dose, take the third dose of four additional misoprostol pills. The third dose should always be taken under your tongue. If you have still not experienced bleeding that is more than just spotting, take the optional fourth dose three hours after taking the third dose. The fourth dose should always be taken under your tongue. Expected symptoms. Some people will bleed more heavily than a menstrual period, while others may experience lighter bleeding. A successful early abortion can occur even with very light bleeding and small blood clots. During the process, you may get chills, feel sick to your stomach, have light dizziness, and even diarrhea. These effects are normal. If you are experiencing strong cramping and would like to use additional pain medication, you may use up to 800 milligrams of ibuprofen, Advil, and up to 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen, extra strength Tylenol, every six to eight hours as needed. If you are feeling nauseous, you can also take 8 mg of Ondansetron every 6 hours as needed. Other things you can try are eating ginger or saltine crackers or drinking herbal tea, particularly mint tea. If you are experiencing diarrhea, you can use an over-the-counter medication like Imodium. Please follow the instructions from the manufacturer. When to call us. If you experience any of the following, please contact us. Vomiting while holding the misoprostol under your tongue. Bleeding enough to soak through two full-size pads in less than an hour for more than two hours in a row. Passing blood clots larger than a lemon. A temperature of 100.4 or higher that starts more than 24 hours after taking the misoprostol. Severe pain not helped by Tylenol or ibuprofen. Symptoms of an allergic reaction, rash, or shortness of breath. No bleeding or clots within 24 hours of using misoprostol. Feeling very, very sick more than 24 hours after using misoprostol. You can reach us at 855-SAY-CARA. If you call after hours, please stay on the line until the end of the recorded message to be transferred to an on-call provider. Post-abortion care. We recommend using pads to monitor your bleeding on the day you take the misoprostol. You can resume using tampons or a cup within 24 hours after using misoprostol or as soon as you are comfortable. Having an abortion with pills often creates bleeding that can last off and on for several weeks. Some people may see bleeding that lasts until their next period, up to four to six weeks, 
or some may stop bleeding much sooner. We suggest taking a urine-based home pregnancy test in four to five weeks to assure your abortion was successful. Most symptoms of pregnancy resolve very quickly after using abortion pills. If symptoms of ongoing pregnancy continue more than a week after your abortion, please contact us. You can have sex as soon as you feel ready. Please know you can become pregnant again very shortly after your abortion, within as little as two weeks. If you would like to discuss a method of birth control, please call us at 855-SAY-CARA. If you have any questions at all, please know you can reach us at any time.